We need a new business model and we need to reposition business as a force for good. The DNA of the business was built on core products, core values and a very international mindset and Dutch people and English people working together to run a multinational over 100 years ago. And these are important lessons to think about to survive turbulent times. And that's the power of this business that in most countries the people think that our brands are local brands because that's what they grew up with. And the initial reaction is that the local companies expanded around the world. And this combination of having local roots and being established in those societies with brands that are not owned by Unilever but by the citizens and the consumers in those countries has really allowed us to establish a very, very global business with deep roots in those communities and those people. And the first thing is to give an organization and your brand a sense of purpose. A purpose bigger than yourself, bigger than the brand itself. To make a difference and to create something that what people want to belong to or want to buy into. The second thing is to put the product and the quality and innovation back at the heart of your business. To really do what you do well and do that better than anyone else. If you take Asia, 70% of the population lives within about a 5,000 kilometer radius around roughly uh, Singapore. That's where the center of activity is. That's where the majority of the population is. That's where the majority of economic growth will be. The next 30 years is not going to be China. China will have to reinvent itself from an export economy to a domestic economy and politically manage that, one. Two, India will need to pick some of that slack up, hopefully for the world economy, with the, almost the opposite political challenges. And then Africa will come in with one billion people adding to the workforce there and hopefully become the next economic engine that China was for the last 30 years. Citizens want to do the right thing. They don't want to part with their money. So if we can find combinations that are more sustainable and give them an extra benefit, that's the route through.